Notice that I wrap my markdown documents at 80 characters. That is the bar that you see here on the right hand side. This makes the document look nicer because otherwise the text would show up all the way to the right. I like the way this looks, feels more organized and structured, but there's a problem that comes with this. Let's say that I want to paste some text that I have here and I want to paste it in a different application. Let's take Slack for example. I'm going to grab these bullet points that I have here. I'm going to copy this to the system clipboard and I will go to Slack and I'm going to paste this text in here and I hit enter and my four formatting is all messed up. Notice that this line was broken here and it shouldn't have been broken. The same thing happens here. The same thing happened here as well. What if I want to paste the same text in a Google Docs file? Let me go there real quick. I'm going to paste the text here and you'll notice the exact same thing. So what do you have to do? You have to come here, delete the characters here, leave a space, delete the characters here, leave a space, delete them here as well and leave a space. This is just annoying and it does not work. Let me show you the solution. I'm going to go back to Neobim. I'm going to select the same text again. Just going to press G, B. I'm going to copy it. Notice the message here, yanked markdown with prose wrap never. Now I'll go back to my Word document. Just going to paste this here and it looks exactly the way that I want it to look. Let's go and test in Slack. Just going to leave a line here in the middle and I'm just going to paste this here and hit enter. Now the text was pasted correctly. Let me grab this entire part that I have here. I'm just going to select from here all the way to the end. I'm just going to copy the way that you normally copy. Notice the message here, 51 lines yanked. Let me go to Slack. I'm just going to leave a line here in the middle. Just going to paste this, hit enter. And you will notice again that the formatting is all messed up. The same thing that we looked at a few minutes ago. Notice the paragraphs, they were broken here. The same thing here in this other paragraph. This this block was also broken into multiple lines if we keep scrolling down here. So still the same problem. If we go back to the file, I'm going to paste this here. Just going to replace what I have there. Same issue. Everything was broken like this and it's just not useful at all. The same thing happens in Discord. For example, if you want to paste a message in there, let me bring up the app. I'm going to paste the text here and the same thing. But again, if I copy the whole text again, copy it, let me go to Slack one more time. Just going to leave a line here in the middle. Just going to paste it and notice that the lines were not broken and the text is showing up correctly. Same in my Word document or in my Google Docs file. Going to paste here and it's good. The same thing if I paste it here, I'm just going to leave a line in the middle, paste it. Just going to make this smaller so you can see the difference. Notice how it looks here and notice how it looks. We don't want this. We actually want this when we send the message. Let's look at the bullet points. This is the way they should look. Why do I paste text from NeoVim to different apps? Notice that this is my daily note. So if on my keyboard I press hyper TR, it always creates a TMAX session with today's date. It creates this file. Notice that I have different files here, one for each day that I open my daily note and I just add stuff there. It's like a placeholder where I write things that I need to paste somewhere else. But the key map hyper TR is what allows me to quickly get there when I need to write something down. I just do that so that the information doesn't get lost and I find it really easy and fast to type in NeoVim because of the BIM motions. I know that some of you are going to recommend something like Fire and BIM, I think it's called, where you can have NeoVim on every text box in your browser. I tried it, it didn't work quite well for me, so I just prefer doing it this way. If you want to know how I open the daily note with a single key map, how I set everything up, I have this video, the one highlighted on the screen, open your daily note in NeoVim with a single key map. Go and watch it and you're going to find all the details there. Let me show you how I configure this. I'm going to go to my .files directory. I'm going to open my keymaps file. I'm going to press space 2. I have that file added in Harpoon. And here in the file, you will be able to find this key map that I set to the letter Y as in Yank. And notice that it only works in visual mode. So when I select text in visual mode and I'm inside of a markdown file, this key map is going to take place. Notice that this is a Lua file. You can see that here, keymaps.lua. And I hit Y, you're going to see that it yanked to system clipboard. You didn't see the other message that we saw when we yanked the text in a markdown file. Notice that this is a .md file markdown. If I yank here, we're going to see this prose wrap never message. I left a note here explaining what this key map does. So it just yanks without the new line characters or they're also known as LF line feed characters. This is a new method that I just created today. I'm going to show you how I did it before this. But basically what I'm doing is that I'm copying all the text to a temp file, as you can see on this line. Then I'm applying this command, prettier prose wrap never write, and then the name of the file that is going to disable prettier wrapping in that temporary file that I created. And then I just copy the text that is in that file to my system clipboard. And as you can see here, this gives me the text without the LF characters that I can paste in Slack, browser, or any other application. 
Here is the code. I just left some comments. Basically does what I just said above what I left in the description. Here is the command down here to write to the temporary file. Here's the other command that I was talking about. Prettier prose wrap never write in the name of the file. This is what saves that information to the temporary file without the line breaks. And then as you can see here, we read that new file and copy that formatted text without new lines to the system clipboard. This is the message that is shown. You may be wondering, what is this all about these LF characters? Let me grab this command that I have here. Let me go to my home Tmux session. Just gonna paste this here to show the first 70 lines. Let me scroll up a little bit and you're gonna see that at the end of each line at 80 characters, this LF character is added. So that is a line feed or a new line and that's what makes it go to the next line. Same thing here. You can see that at the end of each line. Notice that here we have an LF line at the very end. Then we have another one, which is for a blank line and so on. We can see that on every line. This is the one that you should be using. Just copy this, paste it in your keymaps.lua file. Before doing it this way, which makes it way easier, I did a process that was more manual because I checked on every line if there was an LF character and if there was, but if the next line didn't have a bullet point, which is this character here, but any other character, I used to join the lines and delete these blank spaces. And I had to add some conditions for code blocks as well. You won't be able to find the code for that here. It works, but it's more involved and you have to take more things into account. You have to take into account other characters. So the way that I would recommend you do it is with the other key map that I shared above. For this to work, you need to have Prettier installed because that is what auto formats the files at 80 characters to begin with. I'm just going to bring up Mason. Here is Mason under Formatter. You're going to see that I do have Prettier installed. Here's the version number. How did I install Prettier with a Lazy Extra? I'm using the LazyVim.org distribution. But if I bring up Lazy Extras, and here is where you enable Prettier. This is the Lazy Extra formatting that Prettier. If you don't use the LazyVim.org distribution, you'll have to install this by yourself. If you want to know how I format my markdown documents like this, notice that I have my headings folded. And I like the way that they're organized. I have a video in which I explain everything in detail, which is the one shown here. My complete NeoVim markdown setup and workflow in 2024. I basically go over every single tip and trick I know about markdown and NeoVim. So go and watch that if you want to set it up the, this exact same way. I forgot to mention, if you want to paste Markdown into Slack, there's something that you need to do. If you come here to Slack settings, Slack settings, you come to advanced, you're going to find this option under input options, format messages with markup. Make sure you check that option. And this allows you to copy and paste text from NeoVim to Slack. Slack handles Markdown a little bit differently for bold text. It expects the single asterisk. For example, Discord works just fine. This is bold text between two asterisks. Slack expects one. Unfortunately, there's no way to configure Slack to recognize bold text with two asterisks. And another issue that Slack has with Markdown is that notice the indentation here. This should be indented, testing new line and another line. It is indented properly in Discord, but in Slack it's not because Slack expects four spaces here. And I only leave two spaces for indentation. And it doesn't give you an option to specify how many spaces you want to have for indentation because if it would have a setting, you could configure it and this would show up correctly. Unfortunately, it does not. So just reach out to them. Maybe it's something that they can fix. Not sure. Or if you know how to do something about it, just let me know as well. This is not going to be a really popular video, but it's going to help a few out there that have this exact same question and the same issue. Notice also that I've been using Western for the past couple days. Images are working perfectly. I did have an issue related to images, but I just fixed it yesterday. So images are working just fine in Western as well. Here is the video. Am I moving? from Kitty to Western and how to set up Western. Go and check it out. I explain all my setup there. Let me know down in the comments what type of videos you would like me to make. And that's it for today. I hope this was useful. I'll see you in the next video.